Friends, turn with me to Colette, which is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 8 through 17. The heading of this is Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, which is Colette in Hebrew. Colette is Ecclesiastes in Hebrew. The heading is this, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. For everything there is a season, a right time for every intention under heaven. Okay, go to verse 8, 8 through 17. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. What does the worker gain from his efforts? I have seen the task Yah has given humanity to keep us occupied. He has made everything suited to its time. Also, he has given human beings an awareness of eternity, but in such a way that they can't fully comprehend. For, for from, from beginning to end, the things Yah does, I know that there is nothing better for them to do than to be happy and enjoy themselves as long as they live. Still the fact still the fact that everyone can eat and drink and enjoy the good that results from all his work is a gift from Yah. I know that whatever Yah does will last forever. There is nothing to add or subtract from it. And Yah has done it so that people will fear Him. That which was is here already and that which will be also verse 15 again. That which was is here already and that which will be has already been but Yah seeks out what people chase after. Another thing I observed under the sun, they're in the same place as justice with wickedness. They're in the same place as righteousness with wickedness. I said to myself, the righteous and the wicked, Yah will judge, because there is a right time for every intention and for every action. And we'll continue in Ecclesiastes, which is Kohen in Hebrew, chapter 3, verse 18. Concerning people, I said to myself, Yah is testing them, so that they will see that by themselves they are just animals. After all the same things that happen to people happen to animals. The very same thing, just as the one dies, so does the other. Yes, their breath is the same so that humans are no better than animals since nothing matters anyway. They will go to the same place. They all come from the dust and they all return to dust. Who knows if the spirit of a human being goes upward and the spirit of an animal goes downward into the earth. So I conclude that there is nothing better for a person to do than to take joy in his activities. That That is a lot of that that is his allotted portion. For who can enable him to see what will happen after him? I, I've concluded Colette, which is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 18 through 22. And I just want to encourage you to get into the book of Ecclesiastes, which is Colette in Hebrew. Study it for yourself. Let Yah. Let Yah bring the word of Yah to life into your heart and soul. The word of Yah is living. The word of Yah. Turn to Psalms 1. And we'll conclude with this for today. Psalms 1. This is Psalms chapter 1. How blessed are those who reject the advice of the wicked. Don't stand on the way of sinners. Or sit where scoffers sit. 
third of light is in Yah's Torah. On his Torah they meditate day and night. They are like trees planted by streams. They bear their fruit in season. Their leaves never wither. Everything they do succeeds. Not so the wicked, who are like chaff driven by the wind. For this reason the wicked will stand up to, ju to the judgment, nor will sinners. At the gathering of the righteous, for Yahuwah watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked is doomed. Yah bless you today. In Yahshua's first name. Amen.